welcome back to Block TV. It is time for Cryptonomics, where we look under the hood of the newest cryptocurrency tech and the reasoning behind it. Now, today, I'm very happy to be joined in studio by Yuri Lubintsev, CTO and co-founder of Syndicator, which was founded in 2015. Great to have you. Um, <laughs> and it builds predictive analytics by merging collective intelligence and machine learning models. But to understand exactly what I just said right now, let's first take a look at the following syndicator, the company, explainer video, and break it down after that. Imagine you have access to the collective mind of everyone on the planet. Imagine this collective consciousness is enhanced by artificial intelligence. Imagine in the symbiosis of human and machine intelligence. What would you do with it? We make it a reality. We are Syndicator. Syndicator is creating an open ecosystem where we combine the collective intelligence of financial analysts, data scientists, traders, and investors. This ecosystem provides a more efficient approach and valuable predictive analytics for asset management, where everyone can monetize individual intelligence. Invest your intelligence. Learn more at syndicator.com. Now with me in studio, studio, studio is Yuri Lubintsev. You're the CTO of, um, uh, um, you know, you're the CTO of the company of Coin Indicator. Now, sorry, Syndicator. Um, first of all, it's a remarkable video. It's a remarkable pitch. Um, once again, how exactly is artificial intelligence going to assist asset management? So we use uh, artificial intelligence in two different infrastructures. And I can say that uh, hybrid intelligence is the uh, technology that involves humans. Right. And uh, there are several layers of humans, machines, humans, and machines. And uh, there are different types of intelli intelligence uh, or intellectual processes that are run by humans and by machine. And uh, the product that is created by, like I can say that majority of uh, people in the system by analysts, by, the, by people who are analyzing the market mm -hmm. and uh, they are providing the ecosystem and us uh, with their expectations uh, about the future of market behavior. These uh, expectations are analyzed by statistical models and this is the first, the first layer. Right. And uh, these statistical models they are based on machine learning algorithms, and this is what we call artificial intelligence. Usually, is analyzing the uh, relationships between expectations and reality. Who is uh, accurate, who is not, and uh, who has pessimistic or optimistic moods, and who tend to be pessimist or optimist during that or that period of time. That's what the hi this hybrid technology does. Uh, this is one of the layers. One of the layers, which is essentially kind of a psychological breakdown of what the consumer feels. Uh, it's an, uh, not the psychological breakdown, it's statistical breakdown. Statistical breakdown. Uh, statistical bre breakdown of psychological That's things. what I'm saying. It's a statistical yeah. breakdown of psychological yeah. t trends, right? Uh, yeah, uh, psychological trends and uh, the accuracy. Like the, we can say that a bit less than 2% of people, uh, we call them super forecasters, they tend to be accurate. Right. Uh, they make mistakes, obviously, everybody makes mistakes. That's what we call like the, super, uh -huh. the mega traders, for yeah. example, uh, if we uh, to equate this to the uh, market. It, we separate and uh, these are very different types of people, traders and uh, analysts. Okay. So we have both types of that. And this is the uh, next layer what I was going to talk. Please. Uh, so like uh, this uh, part that I was saying is about analytical work. These people don't take risk. As the result of these two layers, uh, we, we already see the hybrid intelligence approach. Uh, as a result, we have indicators, predictive indicators or predictive analytics that are used for investment decision making uh, by traders, right. uh, by those who are really taking risks, the, by those who are managing money 
either that uh, is their own money or money of hedge fund where they work gotcha. or family offices. Uh, so they use different sources of information, different analytics, uh, their own uh, web uh, surfing. And uh, they use our indicators and one of the, uh, one of the source of one of the inputs of uh, making decisions. And uh, they are uh, running decisions, they are running trades, they are developing investment strategies, and etc. And uh, we have uh, these people in our ecosystem. They are traders. We, we call them external traders. Like we have internal traders, external traders, those who are on payroll in a, in, oh, in a company. Clearly. Uh, and this uh, people who are external, they are on, not on payroll, they are freelancers, uh, <laughs> independent, but they are working right. in some companies. Like we have yeah. about a bit more than four thousand uh, traders. That's the human aspect of it. The computer takes their, let me, I'm trying to put this in yeah. layman's terms, and then the computer basically takes um, uh, the independence and the internal humans and builds assumptions on what they predict uh, or what they. Yeah, yeah. So, so one of the layers of computers is uh, working with analysts mm -hmm. and another is working with uh, traders so that one of them is one of the infrastructure it, it's pretty complex it, it has like two layers uh, of machine learning algorithms and uh, uh, they're working on, on only indicators not on making investment strategies gotcha. and next infrastructure is working with traders with market analysis with uh, data from uh, exchanges right. or, uh, and the goal of that infrastructure is to build uh, investment strategies that are actually running the, and execute the trades. So like they are pretty different from the goal perspective uh, and how they work and what data they analyze. And we call all of that uh, hybrid, intelligence. hybrid intelligence. Yeah, because it, it, it involves layers of different processing. Of, of machines different, and people. Uh, yeah, machines and people and, and layers. No, no, it, it, first of all, fascinating. And in many ways, I think you described what will be the future of the modern world, mm -hmm. um, not just um, uh, not just with them uh, syndicated, but what are the main trends that you would say and technologies in digital asset management now? Basically what you're doing and what are others? Yeah, so uh, trends are that, uh, that emotional uh, type of investments uh, that we've seen like Everything. a couple of uh, <laughs> months ago or a couple of years uh, uh, is going down like this trend is going down and uh, uh, market is getting more matured and we're still still there are lots of uh, irrational we're talking uh, about clearly you know the uh, cryptocurrency market yeah um, but and you're saying the market is getting mature at this point in time. yeah yeah okay. uh, in market of uh, asset management yeah like uh, the decisions uh, the uh, acts of investments, the acts of trading, uh, start to be more professional. Like uh, people start to think about things like risk management, start to learn uh, basic right. things uh, from traditional market, uh, from traditional uh, asset management. So they, they start to make assumptions, they start to plan, uh, they start to make calculations and more professionals stay on the market and more and, and less uh, young, uh, uh, crazy uh, yeah, traders. Yeah, young emotional uh, traders say, who are trying to... Many of them are leaving the market, are leaving the market of... Is that management. a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, definitely it's a good thing. Uh, for sure, uh, Now, those would argue craziness. that we need the passion of, yeah. uh, you know, of uh, the motivation of... But less craziness, which is one thing, I'll give you that, we're hearing it throughout the sphere <clears throat> when it comes to the maturing of the market in all those aspects. Now. It, Firstly, um, uh, Syndicator, where does it stand? Um, wh when will it be live? Give me some information about when you guys are heading out. We already have uh, a number of products that are live. Such uh, as? Uh, such as Syndicator Bot, we send analytics, we send identifications, we set, uh, send indicators. Uh, there are different types of, uh, we also send calendars of events, how we utilize the collective intelligence. Of mm -hmm. the, like we have. One hundred. We have projects, but is anybody using you? That's what I'm saying. Is anybody using Syndicator? Uh, yeah. So what I already said, uh, we have uh, about four thousands of traders. Nice. Okay. They uh, they are using uh, these uh, indicators that are help helping them make investment decisions. 
we can say that uh, analysts, like 150,000 of analysts, they are using uh, the analytical platform right. and they have uh, their own uh, different types of motivations and uh, it helps them. They earn money on that, they earn expertise on that, they have fun uh, actually and they learn. So they learn the market analysis, they right. get right questions. So like these uh, are the people. It's also an educational tool for yeah. you. And for some of them, it's all, all, all already helping them to get approval of their expertise, to get hired by institutions. So like uh, we see in uh, uh, recruiting uh, spaces that some people, some analysts, they mention the ranking uh, number in, uh, in syndicator. And if they're in first thousand, uh, it proves that they have uh, that they have that they, 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 no, they have that they have the capability yeah. uh, finally I want to touch with you and you a little bit because you sound like one of the people who play in the sphere let me read something that you wrote about yourself um, an out-of-the-box investor serial entrepreneur digital products uh, products leader rapid non-classical problem solving capabilities which I would love to hear what that means <laughs> but um, involved in the spheres of deep psychology human and machine consciousness how did you come up with the idea of syndicator uh, I cannot say that. Well, not I you alone. Clearly, I come I with it. idea, and that idea is. Uh, I, I I look at ideas like a form of life that come with to us and through us, and uh, what we've seen uh, four years ago when we started our foundation and partnership, right. and uh, where we stand from and how we approached it and uh, what we expected from it. It is very different from what we have now. And uh, during these four years, it, it was evolving and it turns and uh, was deepening and changed our lives and changed our perspective and understanding of life and mind itself. So, and i pretty sure that this process of evolution of this idea of ourselves uh, in uh, working with it because we consider ourselves being a part of this technology. Right, as a, with, within the... Uh, yeah, so the we hybrid. are the technology, we are the one of the part and uh, this is form of life and uh, but the beginning was start, started from the idea to research the phenomenon of wisdom of the crowds. Yeah. Uh, it's a, no, I know. I, wisdom of the crowds can sound almost like a, um, uh, like a, you know, an opposite of terms uh, collide. By the way, you have people like Charlie Shrem um, as advisors on this company. How did, did he advise on the, you know, on Yeah, we are in touch uh, from from period of uh, to time from time to time. He did help us uh, on a lot in the what the year was that? Seventeenth year. Uh, okay. Yeah, and in some, with some context uh, before uh, token sale and after token sale, when we were building first connections, he helped us. Uh, now, uh, we didn't talk, I think, maybe more than three months. Okay. Uh, me personally, but uh, uh, Ksenia, yeah, our business uh, officer, uh, business developer officer, right. she she's in touch with him. Right. Um, uh, you, I want to thank you so much. As we said, it's Syndicator is the name of the um, uh, is the name of the company with a slew of incredible um, uh, incredible uh, people who are advising them. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. This was it for us. Of course, do not forget to check us out, Block TV, on every social network that you have: um, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. Send us questions, we answer, and we'll be right back.